and you're standing right in front of my Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Welcome back to Kimchi Studios, where we focus on the stories, the lessons, the hardships from inventors and makers so that we can produce our own stuff. Me personally, I enjoy printing 3D printables. I use Elegoo Neptune printers and they're working great. I highly recommend them. Go check it out, link in the description. But today I want to cover a topic, something that may change the fabric of our society for better or for worse, or maybe a little bit in between. You know what it's going to be. Maybe you've seen these videos popping up in your feed on TikTok or YouTube, maybe Instagram. It is both disturbing and exciting, and I wanna talk about my opinion on the matter today. So you've probably come across these videos on social media, people that are kind of flexing with a recent purchase. And yes, I'm talking about the Apple Vision Pro. If you don't know, Apple has released a very impressive VR, AR headset that you can use and walk around town in, but there are some issues that we need to discuss. Let's give this some context. Who am I, what do I do, and why am I talking about VR? Well, if you haven't noticed, on my profile pic currently for this channel, I'm wearing a VR headset. I am a VR enthusiast. Why is that? Because I use VR half of the time when I'm creating my own 3D printables. I find it very relaxing and exciting to create art that I never thought possible with the VR headset. Now, I am using a very old Oculus CV1. I bought this in South Korea and had it shipped over there and paid top dollar for this thing when it first came out. It also has one of the best controllers ever made for a VR headset. They just work and they feel great. The weight is perfect and when I'm doing my it has low, lower resolution because it's an older headset, but when you're doing the VR sculpting, it doesn't really matter as much. And actually, I prefer the LCD screen over the LED screens because I have suffered eye damage from staring at screens too long, and I find that the LCD screens are a little bit nicer on my eyes. Now, the thing does get a little heated up, but the technology is moving forward, and it's exciting to see how the MetaQuest has entered in the... It's crossing from the early adopters market into early mainstream market. And it, it is exciting to see. And I do have the MetaQuest 2 and the MetaQuest 3 looks like a, a, an interesting uh, improvement on it, kind of like a cheaper version of the Pro. But the Apple Vision Pro is kind of disturbing. I use VR as a tool. I see it as a, a way to do things uh, easier, faster, to uh, kind of leave myself to my own creativity. I didn't have luck with 3D modeling programs. It's just the way that I'm wired. It's just the way everybody's different and you're gonna be different too. Maybe you don't like VR, but myself personally, I really enjoy using a VR headset. A lot of people are already saying it, the Apple Vision Pro is the new smartphone. And I never liked the term smartphone because I saw them as another computer. It's a device in your pocket, right? And time and time again, we've seen that the apps that are on the phones, always ask for your permissions for your to look at all your contacts, all your data, and we just give it to them. And a lot of the times, if you don't do that, if you don't allow that stuff, you can't use the app. So what's gonna happen with the Apple Vision Pro? The Apple Vision Pro is a very sexy looking device. It has some awesome potential as a tool for work or to boost your creativity. However, driving while using the Apple Vision Pro that's a no-go. Simply interacting with people. When you're face-to-face -face with somebody and they're doing this all the time, that's a no-go. People watching multiple, multiple screens in their VR headset, but you can't see it. You can't see if they're actually listening to what you're saying. That's a no-go. Now, I have to talk about something with the Apple Vision Pro that I think is very, very useful and really will be the future of entertainment. And I'm talking about the panorama pick feature where you can look 360 degrees around the panorama picture. I think this is going to sell a lot of those 360 degree cameras and we're going to see a shift in cinema. And I've talked about this for years. I talked about this to people that did not care and did not understand what I was saying. I was over in South Korea and I was like, look, VR is going to change the way that you watch movies. Just give it 10 to 20 years and you'll see. They're going to have the technology where you can look around and bend, you know, 
you can be in a room or in a, in a chair and you can look around and get different views of angles. So every time you see the movie, it's a different viewing experience and games are the same way. I'm a firm believer that this will be the future of cinema because they're having trouble putting butts in the seats and the tickets are getting very expensive, but people are willing to drop a lot of cash to watch those streaming shows and pay for multiple streaming services that offer these movies. Now, me personally, I enjoy going out to a movie theater. I do feel a little bit vulnerable being in a movie theater, in a dark room, in public. However, I really enjoy the experience and I will miss it if they totally get rid of it. But like I said, I am a firm believer that that is going to be the future of cinema. So the Apple Vision Pro has some really, really great things going for it. Although expensive, there are some issues at hand. People on the street are going to be completely distracted from life. We are, we are distracted right now and we look like idiots going to concerts, paying top dollar, holding up our phones just so we can film it instead of actually experience it. And globally right now, we're dealing with lawlessness. Let's be honest about that. We are dealing with increased lawlessness around the globe. It's not just limited to America. So if you have criminals that are looking at people that have these $3,000 to $5,000 headsets on who are totally distracted, what do you think is going to happen? And the reason I bring up this story is before I got a VR headset, I hated VR. I hated it, but I was so curious. I saw some YouTube videos about playing games with VR, and I thought, this can be a creative, like, renaissance. And that's why I got it. And it turned out to be the case. And I've never looked back. But there was a post, I don't know if it was somebody's video or somebody's uh, actual like post on Reddit or something. The story is there was a man who was playing StarCraft back in the day. He had headphones on and he was playing upstairs on the second floor. Now, if you liked StarCraft like I did, it's a lot of fun, but it has some amazing sound design to it that can really take over an entire room or in his case, take over his ears. So he was solely focused playing this game. Meanwhile, downstairs, he had no idea what was going on. Apparently, a criminal, a felon, broke into his house at night while he was playing his game and proceeded to assault his wife and child. Now, he was enjoying his game upstairs, and rightly so. However, he heard a slight sound, a strange sound that he knew that wasn't in the game. And it must have been really loud because he had his volume turned up pretty high, according to him. It was the sound of his wife screaming for help. And according to the story, he shot and killed this man. Now, without getting into the details or the political leanings of any of that, it just goes to show that when you are distracted, and this was back in the day, not even with VR, it was simply headphones. When you're distracted from reality, bad shit can happen to you. So all these people, all these young people with lots of money running around with these Apple Vision Pros on their heads in broad daylight, it's a funny joke, it's a nice flex, but after a while, I think they're gonna suffer the consequences. So this is kind of a warning and kind of a, a wake up call, a little snap back to reality for those of you who are interested in living that kind of a lifestyle. But keep in mind, I highly recommend and I am very enthusiastic about virtual reality. And augmented reality is also an incredible technology that's already being used in certain businesses and uh, industries. So I wouldn't totally, you know, like get rid of it. You know, I didn't like smartphones, but now everybody, you can't like bank without a smartphone, basically. It's really hard. Your life sucks if you don't have a smartphone and that's unfortunate but we know where this is headed it's headed towards selling our data learning all of our little behavioral things it tracks your eye movements all of that stuff the meta quest does it too and we're heading in a direction that is very dire it's a potential for a creative renaissance but also a recipe for disaster and if you're interested in growing your creative potential, definitely check out my videos on the topic here on this channel. Take a look at those uh, mini documentaries that I have posted on this channel. I really enjoy doing them and I'm having the time of my life finishing out the slinky one. You know, it's the simplest tasks that always end up being the most difficult. If you found this video interesting and it resonated with you, please give it a like and subscribe for more opinions from yours truly. In the meantime, I'm gonna be creating some new 3D printables. Stay positive, stay grounded. See you in the next one.